2024, year of data life, baby! Woo! Uh, yeah, okay, anyway. 2024 is shaping up to be a very good year for Data Life fans, so let's talk about all the Data Life things coming out this year and why we should be super excited as a Data Life fan. So, of course, the first thing is Data Life 5, which will air sometime this year, and while we haven't seen very much from it yet, just from reading this arc in a light novel, I already know it's going to be peak fiction. Even if they fuck up the limited astral dresses again, oh my god, why did they do that? The second thing is something we found out about just recently. And it's something that I'm obviously extremely excited for, and that's the official English translation of Ren Dystopia. For the whole of last year, the fact that Ren Dystopia didn't have an English translation was a running joke on this channel, but the fact they're actually doing it is insane. I honestly didn't think it would actually happen, and if it did, I thought they would wait until the next visual novel came out and release it in a collection or something, but boy was I glad to be proven wrong. So, Season 5 and Ren Dystopia are obviously the major things to look forward to, but there's also some other minor things as well. Data Life Spirit Crisis is still going strong despite the demise of Spirit Pledge Global, I'm still not over that by the way. But, putting Spirit Pledge Global aside for now, Spirit Crisis has just added Rene and Ryo to the game, and Ryo even comes with an absolutely adorable winter outfit. Hopefully Spirit Crisis will continue to be successful and get more characters in the future. While we don't know anything about any light novel projects such as Encore or Random Kudumi spin-off, we do know that we're getting more content for Tachibana's other light novel, The King's Proposal, and while I haven't read it myself, I'm sure if that Tachibana wrote it, it's probably good. And you know, even if you don't want to read King's Proposal, I'm sure there will be at least one new Day to Life light novel project this year. Last year, Kudumi Detective was just randomly dropped, so who knows, it could very easily happen again. We will probably also get some more Japanese exclusive merchandise, which is great because I can't buy it. And we will probably get some very overpriced figures as well. I'm desperately hoping for a true form Natsumi figure. If we got that, then this really would be the year of data life. But anyway, um, let's see. Um, I think that's it. I might have missed something, but whatever. The fact that we've only just started the year and we already have so much to look forward to is amazing. Data Life fans really will be eating good this year, and I really can't wait for Season 5 and Ren Dystopia. So yeah, um, keep on talking about Data Life, whoever happens to be watching this, and I will be leaving now.